Tyler the Creator is one of the best rappers of our generation. There's no debate about that. But what there is debate about is what goes on the Tyler the Creator iceberg. Okay, there's, there's really no debate what goes on it. But I just did that for a segue. Okay, deal with it, okay? Either way, today we'll be covering the Tyler the Creator iceberg with a couple of my ones spread along it. Because, you know, I saw the basic one and it's basic. I don't want that. I want to spice it up. So I added some more spicy ones onto it. So welcome to the Tyler Creator Iceberg. Now I'm going to do this all in one part. I know I created another iceberg video last week, but shut up. Okay, I'll get to that. Okay, we got more important stuff to get to first. So anyways, if you are new, um, bomb a children's hospital for me and let's get right into the video. What about them? What are you saying in your lyrics? Nothing. Shit to piss old white people off like you. Albums. Tyler the Creator by himself has seven albums. This doesn't include all the albums that he's been a part of or like group and like the OF tapes and stuff. Doesn't involve that. Just Tyler's singular like work. Now you're probably thinking, oh my god, but he has more albums that just haven't been released. I'm talking about released albums, the ones that he's officially released. And don't come at me with that bullshit saying, oh, what about the Wolf Instrumentals or Live at Splash? You remember that? I love, no one's listening to that. Okay, no one's listening to that. I, it, no, okay. I'm meaning official. And I'm not talking about the Grinch one as well. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the ones that he's put out with no contract. I mean, obviously a contract, but you get me, okay? The ones that he's put out on his Spotify, except the dumb ones. And also Bass is on Spotify, so. But you get me, okay? Grammys. So Tyler's talked about the Grammys a lot. He's won some Grammys. Now he won the best rap album in 2020, which um I don't think Ego is a rap album. Um I'm just gonna say right now. I don't I don't I'm not mm, I'm not sure. But yeah, he he won the best rap album. I'm not saying it's not deserved and well deserved. Ego is like the best album ever. But yeah. Go Fuang. Now Go Full. Go Fuang is basically Tyler's clothing line. Um it's really cool. Uh, I do have a couple pieces. They're sick. Uh, a little too expensive though. I wouldn't recommend it. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's good. I like it. I wear that. Okay, relax. But dog, fifty bucks for a shirt that just says "Go Fun It." And my dumbass bought that. Fuck. Igor. Basically, Igor is Tyler's album that is his most popular. I guess just because of the C amount of stuff on it, it's so versatile. It's everything. He talks about kissing men and shit. That's cool. And uh, I really like uh, it. I really like it. It really paved the way for like LGBTQ rappers in like in music in general. Cause bro, if Tala, did you see the shit Tala was doing like 10 years ago? He, he would have committed so many hate crimes. And now look at him. There's obviously room for growth. And I feel like that's why we should respect people and help people grow as a person. Also on Ego, he talks about so much other stuff. You should really listen to it. I know all of you have, but listen to it again. How about that? Flower Boy. Flower Boy was an integral part of Tyler's career. Now, I'm gonna be for real. I'm not a big Flower Boy lover, okay? I know people wanna suck its cock. For me, it's a good album, okay? I'm not like riding it, but I am like, you know, bumping it sometimes when I feel like the mood is right. But it really saved Tyler's career. After the flop of Cherry Bomb, everyone was scratching their heads wondering, Tyler, what are you doing, buddy? And he came up with this, and everyone was just like, okay, okay. Okay, Tyler. Okay, Tyler. So yeah, it really did just save his career. And uh, I love it. Don't hate it, but I love it. Tyler Bobolan or Bobolair. Bobolair? Anyways, this is a character that Tyler puts on that travels around. Like, we in Geneva. We got our toes. Remember toes for later. But, you know, we got our toes out. We in a yacht. We eating French vanilla ice cream. Damn! No, but he's just a character based off the real person, Charles Bobolet, that was a famous poet and world explorer, I guess. So, yeah. Tyler Bisexuality. Okay, Tyler, he's been hinting at us that he be bisexual. Everyone just read it off as a joke. I'm gonna put some old tweets on Tyler on the screen. He's literally just admitting him he, like he's gay. Everyone's just like, <laughs> Tyler again, you, you funny Tyler. Says, you make me laugh, Tyler. Like bro was actually trying to come out to us and we were like, eh, yeah, you're not gay. Call me if you get last. Call me if you get last was an album that Tyler put out. His most recent one, uh, at the time of making this video. I don't know, maybe I'll get this video done and 20 other Tyler albums will be out. Either way, this album was based on Charles Bubble Air. Basically, travel the world. 
he traveled the world i guess and in the music videos he can be seen in random ass places sweden uh somewhere else in the world but yeah he he just traveled i guess what about him what are you saying in your lyrics nothing shit to piss old white people off like you tyler vaughn videos now tyler creator had a vine account and he would post vines i guess uh some famous ones being like oh, i hope i don't fall and then he uh for that fell down the stairs and then also the one where he says psych so yeah that's that's a, another one from his vine yeah it was really funny personally i never had vine uh but i've seen like the vine compilations and they they funny as hell so all future wolfgang kill them all now all the future wolfgang kill them all or future i'm gonna be referring them to now basically they were just a group of kids rolling around making music and stuff famous uh future members frank ocean tyler the creator obviously earl jasper there's just so many some of them are putting out music some of them are not for, say for example taco tacos i believe taco is shooting music videos and also acting now so that's pretty dope but there's been rumors that earl might appear or our future might appear on tyler's newest album that's gonna drop so fingers crossed wolf Haley. basically wolf Haley is one of tyler's alter ego most prevalent on the album wolf basically it's just a love alter ego kind of but a really destructive one a one that doesn't gives no like fucks to who they hurt if they don't get their way because in the song rusty basically to send a message to sam to back off of salem basically wolf murders earl and to send a message to sam saying fuck off off of salem and uh if you don't then you're gonna be next now at the end though sam and salem get back together on the house tree home 95 and clancy found out that wolf was masturbating in his bed and with his stuff and clancy brings back wolf to dr tc and wolf said on the end of the track if I saw Sam, I will kill him. So, yeah. It's a really interesting storyline. I love it. Wolf has such a good storyline if you deep dive into it. Because I feel like a lot of people don't realize it. But yeah, Wolf Haley is such a good character. Cherry Bomb. Now, Cherry Bomb is one of Tyler's worst and best albums. It's really weird because it has Smuckers on it, Buffalo on it. Two really good Tyler Creator songs. And then it also has shit songs like cherry bomb that song could have been so good if he mixed it right and i'm not talking about oh what like fuzzy new years that's good i like songs like that but tyler you you didn't even layer your vocals right bro so yeah it's really good i have like it's weird because i have like half of the song saved in my like playlist and then the other half i've like fucking discarded gone deleted go away from me you know but at the end of the day i believe that cherry bomb gets too much hate okay can we stop the cherry bomb slander stop it i don't like it goblin now goblin was tyler's breakout hit i can say because i believe if i'm not mistaken it had yonkers on it and she both of them were bangers and still hit a lot of the songs on goblin hit i love goblin radicals that's really good as well also it has tron cat that um has, has this lyric yeah tyler um to be honest, I'm not even listening to that. I'm just listening to the la la la. You know, I'm jamming out to that, not the not the lyrics, okay? I'm not a rapper or a racist or a rapist, okay? Trust me. Woof. Woof is a spectacular album. It's got hits like Damo 23, Beamer, Colossus, 48. It's so packed with good treats, bro. Please listen to that again as well. That is a magnificent album. The storyline is so good in it as well. The music videos that came out at the time for the music was so cool as well. Firstly, the Tamaleka, is that how you, Tamale, Tamale? That music video made me laugh so much. It was so funny. But yeah, either way, his second best album. Eagles on top, that's on second. Okay, I'm not, I'm not trying to debate anyone, okay? But I might debate you. Dr. TC. Now, Dr. TC is Tyler's therapist, or in later albums, we know that it's just his alter ego. But basically, Dr. TC helps Tyler uh, to get good intentions on his mind. And in this track, Golden on Goblin, it was revealed that Dr. TC was just an alter ego. It was part of Tyler's conscious. That's where TC comes from, Tyler's conscience. And yeah, it's kind of, kind of big brain explosion 
Um, but yeah. Sam. Now, Sam is a character that Tyler played. Basically, Sam was Tyler, but like the sad side. Basically, Sam was someone who got bullied at school. He was a social outcast and didn't have the best relationship with his stepfather. I wonder who that could be relating to. Either way, in the song Pigs of Wolf, it's been told that he snapped, killed all the bullies at his school, felt really regretful, and then got sent to Camp Flogna. As soon as he went there, he met Salem, and that became the, the wolf storyline. Now, unfortunately, it's revealed that Sam uh, died, um, which is for the better. That motherfucker is a menace, okay? We need to keep keep him away from me, okay? I don't want Sam near me. He's a menace, okay? I'm, I'm cool with Wolf Haley, not Sam. Okay, not Sam. Bastard. Bastard was Tyler's first release, and I don't think I can actually talk a lot about Bastard because it's really gruesome. Um, but if you know the story, basically Tyler and woman uh do stuff and something bad. Yeah, that that's the shit. If I say anything else, I'm this video is getting taken down. Okay, it's it's yeah. Okay, but I feel like most of y'all no probably bastard maybe you know the section where tyler assaulted earl um but yeah what about him what are you saying in your lyrics nothing shit to piss old white people off like you kanye west tweeting about yonkers now kanye west in 2011 tweeted about yonkers saying best music video or best song of 2011 which is crazy um if kanye posted like say if sample i made music and he posted mine i would probably be harassed being anti-semitic which i'm not okay that's what i'm thinking about he probably listens to tom mcdonald fuck him fuck fuck you kanye i heard like rumors that he's like better now the only way he's gonna get better if he just drops bound three or like bound 26 whatever he's on bastard goblin wolf are all connected um i don't know why this is on here but they are all connected it's pretty simple and easy to understand that uh if you've listened to all of them then you probably understand that yeah obviously that they're connected obviously ace the creator now ace the creator was tala's old rap name i guess or like before he became tyler the creator he went by ace the creator i don't know why he went by this it looks ass <laughs> um i believe there's like some unreleased music from ace creator uh it might be down on this list and if it's not then i'll put it down there but yeah <laughs> two dope boys now two dope boys is a music blog that refused to put tyler's music on their site so tyler's like all right that's cool whatever but then two dope boys released a music video on their site of a rapper using Tyler's beat and calling Tyler a clown on the same post. This made Tyler furious and that's where the beef started. And if you don't know, Tyler had some shots at two dope boys. For example, on the song Bastard, he said, yo, fuck two dope boys and fuck nah right if you don't know what nah right is it's another music blog also tyler being the troll he is he put an ad on two dope boys website i don't know how he did it but he put an ad on their website and basically when you would click the ad it would just make fun of you for being on their website by the way i'm getting the information by this random reddit user that i found so just take that as a grain of salt i feel like he did i don't know though but i know he had beef with two dope boys so what about him? What are you saying in your lyrics? Nothing. Shit to piss old white people off like you. Kanye West calls Tyler his mentor. Now, Kanye West went into an interview on Angelus 97.1 Amp Radio and basically talked about how Tyler was, he was admiring Tyler. And Tyler worked with Kanye when the Yeezus tour was happening and did a lot of the clothing for it. So yeah, Kanye is a big fan of Tyler. Tyler and ASAP Rocky's marriage. Now, I don't know if you know this, guys, but Tyler, he's actually dating ASAP Rocky. Yep, I know. Kind of kind of wild. I know, you know, they've been uh, going on honeymoons and stuff. I don't know if y'all, like, picked up on it. Like, listen to this. She could rub my face and I don't want nothing in return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ASAP Rocky's my boyfriend. I don't want nothing in return. Back shots. Like, he just admitted it just then. I don't know, like, what information you need more, but, you know, I'm just saying that. Tron Cat. Tron Cat is a song on Goblin. Basically, it's just a really fuck song about stuff that I cannot talk about on YouTube. But I think everyone heard of it. You know, the... Yeah. Uh, 
I'll listen to that part. I, I need to say it again just to like re reaffirm my stance on it. Tyler dislikes Goblin. Yeah, he does. In a GQ interview, Tyler said that he thinks Goblin is horrible and if he were to release it today, he would only keep seven songs on it. The seven songs being Yonkers, She, Nightmare, Tron Cat, Fish, Analog, and AU79. I think that's like a car or something. I'm not sure. So yeah, he does like Goblin, but he thinks that most of the songs on it are horrible because it wasn't really who Tyler was. He wasn't really saying all this stuff he was just screaming the most radical stuff just to get a rise out of people so it will boost his career and that's what he even said he admitted to creating shock value content just so old white people would eat it up and say this is what this man actually does boosting his own career so yeah banned from the uk so tyler credit got banned from the uk um I, I could I can see why he got banned okay he was making like Tron Cat type music back then so yeah I, I can see but he said that he, I think he was trying to uh play with them saying it was racially motivated and stuff uh he obviously knew you know he, it's his music but um yeah he's on band now so all y'all British freaks can enjoy him when he goes to UK probably never I wouldn't want to go to UK look at yourselves Tyler's MySpace account now Tyler Creator had a MySpace account. Basically, he would post stuff on it. He also had a bloggers account. Um, but it's a little bit more deep, and I don't want to like ruin that. I feel like I'll leave that in the description for you to read. It's really like sentimental, and um, I'm not gonna read it out here, but um, it's really deep, and he goes into a lot of details about like the feelings he's feeling right now, and to see where he's at right now, it's incredible, inspiring, and yeah. Also on his MySpace account, that's how his mama actually found about his songs, which is crazy. And there's a lot of lost songs on his MySpace account that we just can't get or it will take time for us to get. So yeah, protest against our future. So basically when our future was performing at Rolling Loud, they had a riot or like some domestic violence group protested them not being there and um yeah they they didn't they didn't try hard enough because they performed and everyone's just clowning the domestic violence group which i don't i don't agree with i don't agree with but god damn the fans in 2011 and 12 and 13 were wild okay and commercial now this refers to that Tyler the creator had a commercial for mountain doom i believe and it got um banned uh because it was racist who would have guessed Tyler 2013 being racist what so yeah it got banned and that's actually how Tyler got the name Felicia the goat uh, I believe that's his Instagram handle I think I don't know if he changed it but I know that was his Instagram handle Felicia the goat and yeah the goat was named Felicia I guess what about him? What are you saying in your lyrics? Nothing shit to piss old white people off like you bastard being released on Christmas so Bastard was released on Christmas 2009. What a beautiful Christmas gift. Kanye wanted to be on I Fucking Hate You. According to Tyler, Kanye wanted to appear on I Fucking Hate You. Tyler was just like, nah, nah, bro, nah. Which, honestly, I'm kind of grateful. Pharrell went hard, okay? I'm just saying that. Tyler originally made the Smuckers beat in 2011 for Kanye and Jay-Z. So Tyler did make this song for them. It was like the beat. And then Tyler was like, I like this beat too much. I'm going to take it back. By the way, Kanye was just like, listen to it. He said, okay, I like this shit. So it was a feud kind of, but Tyler sent Kanye his vocal parts and Lil Wayne. Uh, and Kanye was so amazed that he wanted to come on the song. So he came on the song. Not like that. I know. Stop. Stop thinking. Okay. I know what you're thinking of, but he came on the song a couple days before it was meant to get released. Tyler doesn't miss his dad. This is also true. Tyler said in many interviews that he said if he had a dad, he probably would have went on the college route, never really stepped foot in music, and he's kind of happy that he grew up with a single mother. But this does not justify the actions that Tyler's dad did, abandoning the family. You know, that's still really fucked. But Tyler's happy, you know? And I think that's the best outlook you could probably have on a situation like this. Brandon Deshay. Brandon Deshay is a famous producer. He's worked with Mac Miller, Tom Kennedy, Danny Brown, and a couple other people. But he used to 
be friends with Tyler the Creator. They used to be friends, even mentioning him in a song named Finn. Now the reason why it's actually on here is because they're actually beefed. Now when Odd Future started getting a lot of attention, Brandon tried to ride off that, tried to like just grab all the attention that he could and Tyler didn't really like that. So Tyler is just like, what are you doing bro? And you know, they had his song in the works anyways. So Tyler basically said to Mike G, can you do a verse on this? Replacing his spot on it and then releasing the song. And it really pissed off the Shay. And uh, yeah, they just went back and forth. The Shay said it was casual teenage shit whatever but uh there hasn't been any other beef since he was kicked out of our future by huggy beats so yeah wrap it up wrap it up is an episode of the regular show that tyler the creator was part of he also featured childish gambino and tyler was dropping some heat on it i'm not gonna lie but yeah it's a funny episode this is how i actually got introduced to tyler the creator which is kind of weird um but yeah this, this is how i got introduced to him it kind of gives me like a nostalgic uh feeling when every time i watch the episode so yeah what about them what are you saying in your lyrics nothing shit to piss old white people off like you wolf 2010 now there was an earlier version of wolf that i i actually have on my computer now unfortunately i can't share it because even if i leave a link to it in the description it's still gonna get taken down tyler's management team for some reason goes crazy on these type of re-uploads so you won't really find them on youtube you might be able to most of them are taken down anyways but basically 19 songs my favorite one being llama it the, the bars are out of this world okay let me let me let me tell you something okay <clears throat> my mom caught me jacking off to Hannah Montana with a banana pill sipping cherry frana with my dress and purple heels. I think I might have missed a word, but that that's you know the first, that's the like first two lines. So yeah, egasm. Egasm was a scrapped LP or EP that Tyler was gonna put out. I think he did, but he didn't finish it. And some of the songs on it, such as Odd Toddlers, Annie, and April Fools, are like one of his like breakout hits type stuff. Not really breakout hit, but like they they they, they did some numbers for the time. They did alright. I think Dope Dealers as well was on it. So yeah, they did good, especially Odd Toddlers that broke Tyler out of like a newbie rapper, got them like a level up. You feel me? Me, so that's pretty good jack white on are we still friends now jack white is a famous guitarist i guess you can say and he was actually on are we still friends but he wasn't credited and the reason why he wasn't credited is because when he went to listen to it he couldn't hear his own guitars so he said don't bother crediting me because no one can hear my guitars but technically he was on it so yeah tyler is my boyfriend smiley face yeah, I don't know why they added the smiley face. But basically this was when Jaden Smith said Tyler is my boyfriend and everyone was freaking out thinking that Tyler was actually Jaden Smith's boyfriend and Jaden was just playing it up and everyone was just like, oh, they're playing. Some people took it legit, which um, I think you might have missed the joke, but you know, it was still funny for the time. What about him? What are you saying in your lyrics? Nothing. Shit to piss old white people off like you. Now this is the last tier, so breathe in, breathe out, let's get into it. Fuck It. Fuck It was a song that Tala Creator made after being banned from the UK, Australia, and New Zealand. He basically talked about, hey, why are you banning me, eh? Can I get an unban please, bro? But he didn't get banned, what the freak? Is it because I'm black, or is it because I said I women? But I feel like Tala, you, you didn't get, I don't think it deserves a ban. Obviously he wasn't all wording women, but you know, I think they just were scared of a black man. So yeah, they're racist. Also, he came out as bi in this song and no one cared, literally. Bro literally said, how can I be homophobic if my boyfriend's a f Which, that's crazy Tala, I wish I was that boyfriend. Me and you Tala, we can be on Geneva, on the yacht, you got your toes out, I'm sucking and licking your toes. The person that murdered a lot of Jewish people. Now, unfortunately, Tyler isn't anti-Semitic, so this doesn't relate to Tyler at all. But basically what it is, it's basically someone on Reddit saying they had a dream of Tyler, the creator, making an album called That Person's Name and it had a disturbing album cover and the songs were disturbing and everything it had like screams of Jewish people camps and stuff. It was weird. Um, 
motherfucker needs to get checked out. You're weird. I don't know why you're dreaming about that. I know in my dreams, I dream about getting dicked down by a big black. Our future is dead. Now, this is something that we don't want to believe in, but it's probably the truth. Our future is dead. No more our future. The YouTube page has been inactive for a long time and no one's really mentioned about our future in a long time. And we can safely presume that our future might be dead. Might, okay? I'm saying on his new album, there could be a our future people thing on it. I don't know. A lot of people said they might be. Who knows? If they're not, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to cry in a corner and stuff. White Tyler. Now, this has scared people for a long time. I've heard a lot of stories about White Tyler. I heard if you go in the mirror at 3 a.m. and scream, flower boy, flower boy, flower boy, you know, he might appear behind you. I'm not sure though. Um, Basically, this is just Tyler covered with white paint or like white stuff on his face. Just pretend to be white and basically saying the most racist shit ever, especially in Buffalo. But Buffalo is good. I like that song. So yeah, I think it's just a play on how white people used to treat African Americans. So, and I can kind of see why he bring it up because, well, we need to learn and people need to learn that that stuff did happen to like ancestors, you know, our ancestors, our friends, ancestors, you know, and leaving that in the past isn't good because we might just repeat the past. And I know we're not going to go back to slavery. Okay. Obviously, but people can still be racist and still say the exact same things and this is a good way of telling people hey don't be like this motherfucker ah <sighs> okay we are done the iceberg tell me who you want to iceberg on next i need to edit this video um why the fuck did i make this video just do something kidnap kids see you later peace